Have you ever found yourself pouring your heart and soul into something only to feel like the world barely acknowledges your effort? It's a feeling too many of us know all too well, like shouting into a void and hearing nothing but the echo of our own voice. It's this silent battle, this journey of giving our all and sometimes feeling left in the shadows that brings us together today. But what if I told you that within this very struggle lies the seed of something truly extraordinary? That the moments when you feel most invisible, you're actually laying the groundwork for your greatest achievements. Today, we're diving deep into the stories of those who transform their quietest hours into their loudest triumphs. Stay with me, because this isn't just about finding light at the end of the tunnel. It's about becoming the light within the tunnel, illuminating your path and inspiring those who walk it with you. Let's uncover the untold power of perseverance, resilience, and the magic that unfolds when you keep pushing forward, even when the applause fades. This is for you, the dreamers, the fighters, the silent warriors. Your journey is about to take an extraordinary turn. And if you're ready to embark on this journey of transformation and revelation, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video, and make sure to watch every moment, because every second is a step towards uncovering the strength within you. Point 1. Expect less, gain more. The Stoic Path to True Happiness In our relentless pursuit of happiness, we often find ourselves entangled in the web of expectations. The Stoics, ancient philosophers renowned for their profound insights into human nature, offer a timeless solution to this modern dilemma. They teach us that the source of true happiness lies within, not in the fleeting approval or actions of others. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, eloquently stated, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This powerful reminder encourages us to cultivate a mindset that finds joy in our own being, rather than in external accolades. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, cautioned against the pitfalls of placing our happiness in the hands of others. If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. Seneca's advice compels us to introspect and transform our inner selves, focusing on personal growth and self-acceptance as the pillars of happiness. Epictetus, with his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, underscores the importance of managing our expectations to avoid disappointment. Demand not that things happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do, and you will go on well. By aligning our desires with reality and giving without the expectation of reciprocation, we free ourselves from the chains of unmet expectations and cultivate a state of emotional detachment and peace. Jim Rohn, a modern philosopher of personal development, echoes the Stoic sentiment when he says, happiness is not something you postpone for the future, it is something you design for the present. Rohn urges use to take control of our happiness by focusing on what we can give rather than what we can receive Thus, maintaining our emotional equilibrium regardless of external circumstances. Tony Robbins, a beacon of motivation and self-help, emphasizes the power of gratitude and giving. When you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. By appreciating what we have and giving selflessly, we shift our focus from expectations to gratitude, fostering a sense of abundance that transcends external validation. Brian Tracy, known for his effective strategies on success and personal achievement, advises, develop an attitude of gratitude 
and give thanks for everything that happens to you. Tracy's guidance resonates with the Stoic philosophy of cherishing the present and finding contentment in our own actions and attitudes rather than in the approval or reciprocation of others. Jordan B. Peterson, with his profound understanding of human psychology, stresses the importance of taking responsibility for our own happiness. Pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. In doing so, we align our actions with our values and detach our well-being from the unpredictable reactions of those around us. Point 2. The Fine Line Generosity versus Exploitation In a world where kindness is often seen as a virtue, the Stoics offer a nuanced view, warning that unchecked generosity may inadvertently invite exploitation. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of Stoicism and a Roman emperor, counseled, To love only what happens, what was destined, no greater harmony. This profound statement urges us to embrace a balanced approach to giving, one that aligns with our destiny without compromising our well-being. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, highlighted the risks of excessive generosity, stating, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This insight warns against the danger of giving beyond our means, which not only depletes our resources, but also attracts those who seek to take advantage of our largesse. Epictetus, renowned for his practical Stoic teachings, emphasized the importance of discernment in giving. No man is free who is not master of himself. In applying this wisdom to generosity, it becomes clear that true mastery involves the ability to give thoughtfully and moderately, thus protecting oneself from becoming a target for exploitation. Jim Rohn, a modern philosopher of personal development, echoed this sentiment when he remarked, Give whatever you are willing to give. Give it freely. But protect your own ability to continue to give. Roan's advice underscores the necessity of safeguarding our resources and mental health, ensuring that our generosity does not lead to our own downfall. Tony Robbins, a titan of motivation and empowerment, teaches, Setting boundaries is a way of caring for myself. It doesn't make me mean, selfish or uncaring because I don't do things your way. I care about me, too. Robin's perspective aligns with the stoic emphasis on moderation, illustrating that setting limits on our generosity is not only prudent, but also an act of self-care. Brian Tracy, known for his effective success strategies, advises, the key to success is to focus our conscious mind on things we desire, not things we fear. By applying this principle to generosity, we learn to give in ways that foster positive outcomes rather than out of fear of being perceived as selfish, thereby avoiding exploitative situations. Jordan B. Peterson, with his deep insights into human behavior, suggests, assume that the person you are listening to might know something you don't. This advice can be applied to the act of giving, encouraging us to listen and understand the needs of others, thus enabling us to give wisely and avoid exploitation. Point 3. Self-care isn't selfish. Why your goals matter first. In the intricate dance of life, the Stoics present a compelling argument for the prioritization of self-care and personal ambitions. This ancient wisdom, echoed by modern thought leaders, serves as a crucial reminder that neglecting our own needs in favor of others can lead to a depletion of our spirit and hinder our ability to truly help those around us. Marcus Aurelius, revered Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once mused, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This profound insight underscores the importance of attending to our inner needs and ambitions as the bedrock of happiness and fulfillment. Aurelius's teachings prompt us to reflect inwardly 
and ensure that our own cup is filled before extending ourselves to others. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, emphasized the value of self-sufficiency and personal development, stating, if one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. This metaphor beautifully illustrates the necessity of having clear personal goals and ambitions. Without them, our efforts to help others may lack direction and purpose, leading to a sense of aimlessness in both our own lives and those we aim to assist. Epictetus, with his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, famously declared, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This directive encourages us to prioritize our aspirations and well-being, establishing a strong foundation upon which we can build a life of service and generosity. Jim Rohn, a modern pioneer in personal development, echoed the sentiment of self-care with his advice. Take care of yourself, because if you don't, the undertaker will. Rohn's straightforward warning highlights the dire consequences of neglecting personal health and goals in the pursuit of altruism. Tony Robbins, renowned for his motivational insights, argues for the balance between self-improvement and service. Only those who have learned the power of sincere and selfless contribution experience life's deepest joy, true fulfillment. Robbins suggests that true fulfillment arises from a harmonious balance between pursuing personal goals and contributing to the well-being of others. Brian Tracy, a champion of effective goal-setting, advises, set peace of mind as your highest goal and organize your life around it. This principle reinforces the idea that personal well-being and the achievement of our own goals should be paramount as they are the foundation upon which we can offer genuine help to others. Jordan B. Peterson, with his profound understanding of human psychology, emphasizes the importance of putting one's house in order before attempting to change the world. It's very difficult to help someone else if you're a mess yourself. Peterson notes, advocating for the prioritization of personal development and self-care as prerequisites for effective altruism. Point four, strength in boundaries, the stoic secret to commanding respect. In the realm of human interaction, the manner in which we respond to the demands of others often shapes their perception of us. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that emphasizes virtue, wisdom and control over one's own life offers invaluable guidance on this matter. It teaches that true strength lies not in acquiescence, but in the judicious exercise of self-discipline and the setting of firm boundaries. This approach not only safeguards our well-being, but also cultivates a sense of respect among our peers. Marcus Aurelius, a paragon of Stoic thought and Roman emperor, once stated, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. This powerful sentiment underscores the Stoic belief in maintaining one's composure and integrity, even in the face of undue demands. By refusing to bend to the will of others at the expense of our principles, we demonstrate a form of strength that is deeply respected. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, emphasize the importance of self-reliance and personal fortitude, remarking, a gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. This analogy highlights the transformative power of adversity in forging strength and resilience. By setting boundaries and asserting our autonomy, we not only protect ourselves from being taken advantage of, but also grow stronger through the challenges we face. Epictetus, known for his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, taught, No man is free who is not master of himself. This statement encapsulates the essence of Stoic strength, the ability to maintain control over one's actions and reactions, irrespective of external pressures. By exercising self-discipline and establishing clear boundaries, we assert our independence and command respect. Jim Rohn, 
a revered figure in personal development, echoed the stoic sentiment when he said, Learn how to say no. Don't let your mouth overload your back. Roan's advice highlights the practical necessity of setting limits on our commitments, recognizing that the inability to say no can lead to overextension and the perception of weakness. Tony Robbins, a master of motivation and self-help, underscores the significance of boundaries for personal empowerment, noting, when you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. Robin suggests that by respecting our own limits and appreciating our worth, we eliminate the fear of rejection and cultivate an environment where respect and abundance flourish. Brian Tracy, known for his insights into achieving success, advises, the ability to concentrate and to use your time well is everything if you want to succeed in business or almost anywhere else for that matter. Tracy's guidance reinforces the stoic principle of focusing on what truly matters, setting boundaries around our time and energy to ensure we are not perceived as weak but as focused and determined individuals. Jordan B. Peterson, with his profound understanding of human nature, asserts, set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. Peterson's advice aligns with the stoic emphasis on self-governance and personal accountability. By managing our own lives with discipline and setting boundaries, we project strength and earn the respect of those around us. Point five, breaking the cycle from one-sided giving to balanced relationships. In the intricate tapestry of human connections, the dynamic between giving and receiving plays a pivotal role in shaping the quality and depth of our relationships. Stoic philosophy, with its profound insights into the nature of human interaction, offers a path to cultivating balanced relationships that are rooted in reciprocity and genuine connection. This ancient wisdom, coupled with the perspectives of modern motivational thinkers, provides a blueprint for navigating away from one-sided relationships towards more fulfilling and equitable connections. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor who contemplated the virtues of life, highlighted the importance of mutual respect and understanding in relationships. Men exist for the sake of one another. Teach them then, or bear with them. Aurelius's words encourage us to strive for relationships where both parties contribute and learn from each other, fostering a sense of mutual growth and respect. Seneca, another pillar of Stoic thought, stressed the value of quality over quantity in our associations. Associate with those who will make a better man of you. Welcome those whom you yourself can improve. This guidance urges us to seek out relationships that are not only balanced in terms of giving and receiving, but are also conducive to personal and collective betterment. Epictetus, with his emphasis on self-awareness and control, advised, we have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Applying this principle to relationships suggests that balanced connections are formed through attentive listening and understanding rather than dominating the exchange or giving incessantly without space for reciprocity. Jim Rohn, a pioneer in personal development, articulated the significance of balanced relationships in personal growth. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Roan's observation highlights the impact of our closest relationships on our character and well-being, underscoring the need for these relationships to be mutually nurturing rather than one-sided. Tony Robbins, known for his transformative insights into human behavior, points out, the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. Robbins's statement aligns with stoic wisdom, emphasizing that the depth and fulfillment of our lives are greatly influenced by the balance and quality of our connections with others. Brian Tracy, an advocate for personal and professional success, emphasizes the importance of self-respect in relationships. Respect yourself and others will respect you. This advice encourages us to set boundaries and standards in our relationships, 
ensuring that we are not perpetually giving without receiving the respect and reciprocity we deserve. Jordan B. Peterson, with his deep exploration of meaning and responsibility, advises, assume that the person you are listening to might know something you don't. This mindset fosters balanced relationships based on mutual learning and exchange, moving away from one-sided dynamics. Point six, rediscover your worth, the stoic guide to self-value amid generosity. In the intricate journey of self-discovery and personal growth, understanding and maintaining our self-value emerges as a fundamental cornerstone. The ancient wisdom of Stoicism, along with insights from contemporary motivational leaders, offers profound guidance on safeguarding our sense of worth, especially in the face of boundless generosity. This guidance teaches us that true value is not diminished by the extent of our giving, but is rather rooted in our virtues, actions, and the integrity of our character. Marcus Aurelius, a paragon of Stoic philosophy and Roman emperor, profoundly stated, your worth consists in what you are and not in what you have. His words serve as a powerful reminder that our true value lies within our character and moral virtues, rather than external achievements or the accolades we receive. This perspective encourages us to cultivate a deep sense of self-worth that remains unshaken by external circumstances or the expectations of others. Seneca, another Stoic luminary, emphasized the importance of self-awareness and self-appreciation, advising, if a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. This metaphor highlights the necessity of having a clear understanding of our own value and direction in life. Recognizing our worth and setting a course based on our internal compass allows us to navigate life's challenges with confidence and purpose without being swayed by the fleeting opinions of others. Epictetus, with his straightforward and practical approach to Stoicism, cautioned against outsourcing our sense of value to external sources, stating, it is not events that disturb people, it is their judgments concerning them. This insight teaches us that our reaction to and valuation of ourselves in various situations should come from an internal place of strength and self-respect, rather than being dependent on external validation. Jim Rohn, a revered figure in the realm of personal development, captured the essence of self-value when he said, you must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons, or the wind, but you can change yourself. Rohn's advice underscores the importance of recognizing our worth and taking charge of our personal development, ensuring that our generosity towards others does not come at the expense of our own well-being. Tony Robbins, a master of motivational speaking, asserts the power of self-belief, noting, the only person who can pull me down is myself, and I'm not going to let myself pull me down anymore. Robbins' statement resonates with the Stoic teaching of holding on to our self-value, reminding us that our self-esteem and worth should be impervious to external influences and the actions of others. Brian Tracy, an authority on achieving personal and professional success, emphasizes the significance of self-respect in maintaining self-value, stating, respect yourself and others will respect you. Tracy's guidance aligns with Stoic wisdom, advocating for a strong sense of self that commands respect through the virtues we embody and the respect we accord ourselves. Jordan B. Peterson, with his profound insights into human psychology, encourages individuals to understand their worth by stating, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. This perspective invites us to recognize our value and ensure that our acts of generosity are balanced with self-care and self-respect. Point seven, beyond escape, confronting inner turmoil head on. In the pursuit of inner peace and personal growth, 
It's not uncommon for individuals to seek refuge in excessive giving as a means to escape from their own inner turmoil. This behavior, while seemingly altruistic, can often mask unresolved personal issues, leading to a cycle of avoidance rather than genuine resolution. The wisdom of Stoic philosophy, along with the insights of contemporary motivational leaders, offers a profound understanding of this dynamic, advocating for a more direct approach to confronting and resolving the underlying causes of our discomfort. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, emphasized the importance of self-reflection and direct confrontation of personal challenges. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Aurelius's counsel encourages us to turn inward, recognizing that the true battlefield lies within our own minds. By facing our inner conflicts head on, we empower ourselves to overcome them rather than seeking temporary solace in outward actions such as excessive giving. Seneca, with his keen insights into the human condition, warned against the dangers of using external actions to flee from internal struggles. We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. This perspective highlights the necessity of confronting our fears and anxieties directly, rather than attempting to distract ourselves from them. By doing so, we can discover that the source of our turmoil is often less daunting than we initially feared. Epictetus, renowned for his practical approach to Stoic philosophy, advised, don't seek to have events happen as you want, but want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This guidance teaches us to accept reality as it is, including our personal challenges, and to work through them rather than evade them through avoidance behaviors, such as excessive giving. Jim Rohn, a luminary in the field of personal development, spoke to the importance of self-care and facing personal issues. Take care of yourself because if you don't, the undertaker will. Rohn's stark reminder serves as a call to action to prioritize our well-being by addressing our inner conflicts directly rather than neglecting them in the guise of generosity toward others. Tony Robbins, a master of motivation and transformation, emphasizes the power of confronting one's fears. The only way we can change is to make a decision to confront our fears. Robbins's advice aligns with the stoic principle of facing our inner turmoil head-on, advocating for decisive action as the path to personal growth and liberation from our fears. Brian Tracy, known for his insights into achieving success, underscores the significance of tackling challenges directly. The key to success is to focus our conscious mind on things we desire, not things we fear. By confronting our personal issues directly, we shift our focus from avoidance to resolution, paving the way for genuine healing and development. Jordan B. Peterson, with his deep exploration of human psychology, advises, confront the chaos of being. Take aim against a sea of troubles. Peterson's encouragement to face life's inherent chaos, including our personal struggles, resonates with stoic wisdom, urging us to engage with our challenges directly rather than seeking escape through outward actions. Point 8. Misunderstood Generosity – Navigating Judgment with Stoic Integrity In the intricate dance of human relationships, acts of kindness and generosity are not always received with the gratitude and understanding we might expect. Stoic philosophy, with its rich legacy of teaching on virtue, character, and the importance of inner peace, offers profound guidance for those moments when our well-intended actions are met with skepticism or misinterpretation. Coupled with insights from contemporary motivational thinkers, Stoicism provides a roadmap for maintaining integrity and a clear conscience amidst the complexities of human judgment. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor revered for his wisdom, counseled, 
Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This perspective reminds us that others' interpretations of our actions are filtered through their own experiences, biases, and insecurities. Thus, when our kindness is misconstrued, it's essential to remember that these misinterpretations speak more about the observer than about our intentions. By staying true to our principles and acting with integrity, we uphold the value of our actions, independent of external validation. Seneca, another cornerstone of Stoic thought, emphasized the role of self-awareness in navigating misinterpretation. Be your own spectator, seek your own applause. Seneca's advice encourages us to seek validation from within, grounding our actions in self-knowledge and a commitment to virtue. When we act from a place of genuine kindness, the opinions of others hold less sway over our sense of self-worth. Epictetus, known for his practical approach to Stoicism, advised, If someone is able to show me that what I think or do is not right, I will happily change, for I seek the truth, by which no one was ever truly harmed. This openness to reflection and growth ensures that even when faced with misinterpretation, we remain committed to self-improvement and the pursuit of truth, rather than becoming defensive or discouraged. Jim Rohn, a modern philosopher of personal development, highlighted the importance of self-belief in the face of misunderstanding. Don't let the opinions of the average man sway you. Dream, and he thinks you're crazy. Succeed, and he thinks you're lucky. Acquire wealth, and he thinks you're greedy. Pay no attention, he simply doesn't understand. Roan's words serve as a powerful reminder to stay the course, trusting in the integrity of our actions regardless of others' perceptions. Tony Robbins, a master of motivation and self-help, speaks to the power of authenticity. Stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. Robbins' advice is particularly relevant when our kindness is misinterpreted. It encourages us to remain true to our values while being open to adjusting our methods if they genuinely benefit our growth and understanding. Brian Tracy, known for his insights into effective leadership and success, underscores the value of integrity. Integrity is the most valuable and respected quality of leadership. Always keep your word. In the context of misunderstood generosity, Maintaining integrity ensures that our actions are consistent with our words and beliefs, reinforcing our character in the face of judgment. Jordan B. Peterson, with his deep exploration of personal responsibility and ethical living, advises, Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. This guidance helps us focus on our own progress and integrity, rather than being deterred by misinterpretations or comparisons. Strategies for protection. Navigating life with stoic wisdom and modern insight. In the quest to lead a balanced and fulfilling life, protecting our mental and emotional well-being is paramount. Drawing from the profound wisdom of stoic philosophers and the actionable advice of modern motivational speakers, here are five strategies to safeguard your peace and foster resilience. 1. Listen to your feelings. Recognize signs of overextension. Epictetus once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This stoic principle reminds us to be mindful of our reactions and emotions. Feelings of burnout or resentment can be indicators that we're stretching ourselves too thin. Jim Rohn emphasized this point. You must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, but you can change yourself. By tuning into our feelings and acknowledging them as legitimate signals, we can adjust our actions and commitments to better align with our capacity. 2. Learn to say no, mastering the art of boundary setting. 
Marcus Aurelius advocated for living in agreement with nature, which includes our own nature. Overcommitting violates this principle. Tony Robbins teaches, it is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Learning to say no is one of those pivotal decisions. It's a declaration of value for your own time and energy. Practice saying no without guilt, acknowledging it as a necessary step toward maintaining balance and honoring your limits. Three, prioritize self-care, the foundation of generosity. Seneca advised, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. Part of this learning involves recognizing the importance of self-care. Brian Tracy states, invest 3% of your income in yourself, self-development, to guarantee your future. Before you can effectively care for others, you must ensure that your own cup is full. This isn't selfishness. It's a prerequisite for sustained generosity and productivity. Self-care ensures that you are at your best, which in turn allows you to offer your best to others. 4. Identify and distance from energy vampires, choosing your company wisely. Stoicism teaches the importance of surrounding ourselves with good company. Epictetus highlighted, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Jordan B. Peterson elaborates, make friends with people who want the best for you. Recognize individuals who consistently drain your energy without reciprocation. Limiting your interactions with energy vampires is not an act of cruelty, but a necessary measure to preserve your well-being and focus on relationships that are mutually uplifting. 5. Cultivate gratitude and perspective. Finding strength in contentment. Marcus Aurelius mused, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This stoic practice of gratitude and reflection on the present moment can serve as a powerful shield against the external pressures to overextend ourselves. Tony Robbins asserts, trade your expectation for appreciation and the world changes instantly. By cultivating gratitude and maintaining perspective on what truly matters, we can navigate life's demands with grace and resilience, ensuring that our generosity stems from a place of strength and abundance, not obligation or depletion. Incorporating these strategies into our daily lives allows us to embrace the wisdom of the Stoics while leveraging modern insights into personal growth. By listening to our feelings, setting boundaries, prioritizing self-care, choosing our company wisely, and cultivating gratitude, we arm ourselves with the tools needed to protect our well-being and navigate the complexities of life with Stoic resilience and modern savvy. As we journey through the tapestry of life, each thread woven with the wisdom of the Stoics and the guidance of modern mentors, we find ourselves equipped not just to survive, but to thrive. Remember, the strength you seek is already within you, waiting to be unleashed through self-awareness, boundaries, and the courage to prioritize your well-being. Let this not be the end, but a beginning to a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. On the screen, you'll find a playlist that continues this exploration, diving deeper into the principles that can transform your life. Click on it, and let's keep walking this path together, building a life not just of success, but of significance and serenity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, for every step forward, is a step toward the person you were meant to be. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Your next chapter awaits.